Hey guys, how you doing? It's Al here, Big Al. Uh, today I just want to talk about a couple things. Uh, one uh, in particular is the Karam shot, C-A-R-O-M. What is it and how do you use it? Uh, what different ways are there to do Karam shots? Uh, we, we're going to talk about Karam shots with the cue ball to make an object ball. We'll talk about Karam shots with an object ball into another object ball or the nine ball in nine ball, for instance. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to use caroms and sometimes you really don't have any other alternative but to look for a, a carom shot. You can play safeties off of them. Uh, you can, like I said, win a game by comboing the nine in, car caroming the nine in, um, uh, either with a cue ball or uh, your object ball like a nine ball. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, caroms are important. There are a few different tricks to them and there's different ways to do them. For instance, you can do a thin, um, a very thin skim carom, or you can do a natural roll carom and hit more of your object ball. Uh, there's, there's several ways to do it. And I'm going to go through a sequence and kind of show you some different ways, some in slow-mo, some in regular speed. So um, anyways, stick with me. We'll have a feature bonus shot at the end. Hope you like it. Okay, we're going to start at a beginner level here. This is the skim deflection carom. It's like a hockey shot. It's how hockey players uh, score their goals around the net by deflecting it. And this is a natural follow-through. So I hit more of the ball. Here's another one. I'm going to hit more of that ball and let it go on its natural course. Um, Okay, so the peace sign is about a 30 degree angle. It's, it's a used as a good reference when you're hitting a, a quarter of the ball to three quarters of the ball. It's gonna, the cue ball is going to go off at about a 30 degree angle. So you can really estimate, on a slow roll, you can estimate where it's going to go by using the peace sign. In this case, it's going to go right to the nine, just like that. All right, we'll set it up again, and we'll show you a different example here. And now we're going to follow through. We're going to hit more of the one ball this time, and they're almost going to collide. They have to clear each other's paths. Um, so that way I just followed. I hit more of the one and followed through on it forward. Um, so here, the 30 degrees is going to be too narrow. It's not going to hit the nine. It's going to hit the rail, like I pointed there. Uh, before the nine. Uh, so I have to play more of a tangent line shot here. I'm going to redo it now and uh, I'm going to hit more center ball on it a little bit harder just so that it kind of follows that tangent line right to the nine. And um, you can do it a little harder like let's say you were playing uh, uh, eight ball. Uh, you could do it a little harder and try to get a breakout on the two and the three there if you were low ball. Um, so that's uh, this shot coming up here. Okay, there's a little harder, got the breakout, just like that. All right, one cluster here, and we're gonna go to all four corners with the with the cue ball, with the carom, or with the object ball, one or the other. But we're gonna get the nine in all four corners from the same cluster. Okay, that's one. Here's a little deflection carom, that's two. There's a bank carom, that's three. And last but not least, just a draw shot to carom in the nine in the back corner. Okay, here's our rail first carom deflection. So it's important to hit the rail first here or it will not work. Just like that. Here it is in slow-mo, close up. It just cut, catches the rail and then the outside of the 11. Uh, so these balls are both frozen to the rail. And uh, the cue ball and the eight ball are frozen to the rail. The 11 is just a little off. But I see a line where I can actually bank that eight ball into the rail and, uh, and hit the outside of the 11. So I'm just lining it up. And I'm going to shoot in the eight ball into the rail. And we should deflect it over to that corner off the 14 there we go so here I have no shot I have no bank um, I have nothing 
but there is a, a high ball just off the rail there. It's the nine ball. I believe or it's the 13. Yes, yeah, 13. And uh, I can use that as a carom bank ball to the corner. Just like that. It's actually not that hard, really, if you can see these shots. Um, so here I have to actually go off two balls, but it's actually going to go off three. It's going to go off the 11 just barely as well. So it's a double, double carom, really. This is also double carom, but I'm going to also use the rail in between. So I have no shot here. I have no bank. I'm going to hit that 9, deflect it over, hit the back side of the 11, and pocket the 8 to the corner. Um, here again, I have no shot on the 8. I'm going to hit the rail first and go long rail all the way down to that back corner. Again, not a hard shot. You just have to be able to see them and look at them. And when you can find them, you can actually plan it out and make the shot so let's talk some safeties here so I'm shooting low ball here and uh, my opponent has two high balls left so if I just carry him and pocket his uh, his 13 I leave him no shot on the 10 ball and I probably will get a ball in hand good chance okay here's another example I'm gonna kick his 10 ball down to the other end of the table and I'm gonna pocket his duck in that corner which opens up the corner I get a good leave although I did put the 10 ball his high ball into the corner pocket but anyway now this is a hard shot it's a moving carom both balls are moving the cue ball and the 8 and uh, it's not a real practical shot but it's fun to try <laughs> here's another one same thing combo the 9 inside uh, moving carom shot all right, so the one and the seven are frozen here. I have no shot on the one, so why not just bank that six by hitting the one first into the nine ball? Uh, okay, so we're going to talk about double kissing frozen balls, and you can move the cue ball around the table. Like there, I just pocketed the nine in the side. Here, I'm going to uh, go one rail and pocket the nine in the corner. I don't need to play any spin on this. I just need to cut it just a little and let the double kiss action do the rest. Uh, here I'm going uh, a few rails uh, over for the nine ball. Here I, you can even mass A into the frozen ball and come back the opposite direction like I just did there. Um, and there's to the other corner. And here's an interesting shot. I, I played bottom left to bring that cue ball out to the right to make the nine. And here's just kind of a mass A carom. Another mass A carom. I'm just going to kind of juice it here. And another little bottom mass A carom to bring it out and back into the rail. Uh, same thing here. Long rail. Juice it back. Let's pocket that nine down to the corner. All right, little three rail carom shot, not that hard really. Fun to do though. Uh, here's a bank carom in the side pocket. Okay, so the eight and the cue ball are frozen, and they're both it's the cue ball's frozen to the rail as well, and then it goes off the ten caroms off the ten into the corner. Um, hard to get my hand out of the way as you can see here. I have to lift real quick. Whoosh, right there. But sweet shot. So all these balls are frozen on the rail. So I combo the nine in by reverse two rail bank. And the one ball goes two rails into the corner as well, just for good measure. So here's another another look at it. I'm gonna hit the one skinny with inside spin. Comes back two rails, hits the three nine in, and then the one goes to the corner. Same pocket. Pretty cool shot, actually. Just another little peek at it here. You can see how that two ball is coming back the unnatural direction that it wants to go. <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah, it's a fun one. Like, like I said, all three balls are frozen to the rail and frozen to each other as well. So, there's just a little jump, jump, like a double jump combo. Carom combo, I guess. Here's a uh, jump into the horn and then a carom into the nine. Here's a bender, force follow bender carom. Just wrap that cue ball right around that four and bring it back down to that corner to carry him in the nine ball. And here is a air kiss, an air double kiss. So it's a carom, but it's in the air. And uh, it's like a basketball shot. I didn't get a swish, though. Uh, so here's a five and one shot. It's a cut. It's a jump. It's a mass A, a bank, and a carom. All in one shot. <laughs> There's just the release at the start. You can see the one goes to the corner. Another five and one shot. And this is the feature shot. It is a difficult shot, but I actually have practiced this shot enough where I'm probably 75% on it. I get very close every single time, if not making it. Single, so. um, yeah, it's a pretty cool shot. Practice, practice, practice. So I jump over those first two, have the mass A on it, so it hits that rail and takes off to the side. And then it comes around four rails to make the carom the nine into the corner. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Talk to you soon.